China just hit a satellite orbiting the moon, using a laser from Earth, in broad daylight. Not science fiction, real science. In under a second, light traveled 130,000 kilometers, bounced off a lunar satellite, and came back with pinpoint accuracy. This breakthrough could reshape how we communicate in space, track satellites, and explore deep space. So, how did they do it, and what does it mean for the future? Let's find out. In a stunning demonstration of technological precision, Chinese scientists have achieved something that once sounded impossible. They successfully fired a laser from Earth and hit a satellite orbiting the moon during daylight from over 130,000 kilometers away. This wasn't just a shot in the dark, literally. It was a carefully orchestrated experiment targeting the Tiandu, one satellite, which is part of China's lunar communication and navigation test system. The laser was fired from a ground station in China and aimed at a retroreflector installed on Tiandu-1. Retroreflectors are optical devices that bounce light back in the exact direction it came from, and they're often used in precision tracking systems. Once the laser hit the reflector, the signal traveled back to Earth and was captured by a 1.2-meter telescope at the Chinese Academy of Sciences Yunnan Observatories. The entire round-trip journey took less than one second. What makes this achievement remarkable is not just the distance involved, but the fact that it worked during daylight hours. Normally, sunlight causes interference that makes laser tracking extremely difficult. Lights scatter from the atmosphere and direct solar illumination can drown out the returning signal. Yet in this case, scientists were able to detect the laser's return with a level of accuracy described as being equivalent to hitting a human hair from 10 kilometers away. Even more impressive is the speed and motion involved. Tiandu-1 is in lunar orbit, moving at around 1 km per second, meaning the laser system had to account for its rapid motion and trajectory. The tracking had to be near-perfect, compensating for the satellite's location, orbital velocity, and Earth's atmospheric distortions, all in real time. This wasn't China's first laser test in space, but it is the first time such precision was demonstrated at this extreme range and in sunlight. It's a milestone not just in optics, but in the broader field of space infrastructure. This breakthrough in daylight laser tracking has implications that go far beyond simply locating a satellite. At its core, it represents a step forward in space communication technology, specifically in the emerging field of deep space optical communication, DSOC. This approach uses lasers instead of traditional radio waves to transmit information between spacecraft and Earth, offering much faster and more efficient data transfer. Radio signals have served humanity well for decades, but they're becoming outdated for the next generation of missions. Laser-based systems can send data with much higher bandwidth and lower latency, and they use narrow beams that are harder to interfere with and more energy efficient over long distances. In fact, Lasers are capable of transferring up to 100 times more data than current radio systems, which is a game-changer for missions involving high-resolution imagery, live telemetry, or even video streams from distant locations. The challenge has always been how to maintain a clean signal over vast distances, especially when facing interference from sunlight. Light pollution from the sun can overwhelm returning laser signals making it nearly impossible to distinguish the useful data from the background noise. That's why this experiment is so important. It demonstrates, for the first time, that it's possible to reliably detect a laser reflected from the moon during the day. Tiandu-1 wasn't just randomly chosen for this test. It's equipped with a purpose-built retroreflector and designed to help evaluate new methods for lunar communication and positioning. This test proves that, even in full sunlight, it's possible to achieve real-time, high-precision targeting and feedback. That's a key requirement for the future of long-distance space missions, whether it's a crewed lunar base, robotic rovers on Mars, or scientific instruments exploring deep space. NASA has also explored laser communication with its Psyche spacecraft, which recently began testing DSOC capabilities. However, challenges remain especially when it comes to developing reliable ground-based infrastructure that can handle these powerful but sensitive systems.
China's success in overcoming the daytime barrier places them ahead in this specific area of development. Beyond its technical brilliance, China's laser tracking achievement raises important questions about its broader strategic and scientific applications. While the Tiandu, one test was conducted under the banner of scientific exploration, the precision, speed, and robustness of this technology offer capabilities that could transform how we monitor, manage, and interact with space infrastructure. From a scientific perspective, being able to track a fast-moving object 130,000 kilometers away in daylight provides researchers with an invaluable tool. This level of precision allows for better orbital modeling, more accurate spacecraft navigation, and new ways to support robotic missions to the moon and beyond. For example, laser-based measurements could assist with terrain mapping, lander positioning, and resource surveying on the lunar surface. All critical functions as nations plan for lunar bases and sustained exploration efforts. But this success also highlights the growing importance of Space Situational Awareness SSA, knowing exactly where objects are in orbit at any given time. As the number of satellites in orbit increases, tracking them accurately becomes essential to avoid collisions, coordinate operations, and maintain safety. Laser tracking could supplement or even outperform radar-based systems, especially in cislunar space where traditional tracking networks are limited. Another dimension to this technology is its potential role in enhanced space asset management. If you can identify and communicate with specific satellites from the ground, even during the day, you can ensure their optimal operation, receive faster diagnostics, and conduct more secure data transfers. This could prove especially useful for Earth observation, navigation satellites, or lunar relays, which are becoming central to both scientific and commercial operations. And while the laser used in this test is not designed as a weapon, the ability to precisely identify and track objects in high orbit does raise questions about space transparency and global competitiveness. Whoever controls the most accurate tracking infrastructure may have a significant advantage in future space coordination, much like how GPS reshaped modern logistics and defense decades ago. Importantly, this test didn't require a massive spaceborne platform. It relied on ground-based systems and a small satellite equipped with a passive reflector. That means the technology could be scaled or adapted for other missions relatively quickly. China's daylight laser tracking test wasn't just a clever experiment, it was a statement. It showed the world that precision space operations can now extend far beyond the Earth, even under the harsh glare of the sun. By bouncing a beam of light off a lunar satellite from 130,000 kilometers away and detecting it back on Earth in less than a second, they've cracked open a future filled with high-speed laser communication, deep space tracking, and real-time lunar navigation. As we move toward permanent bases on the Moon and eventually Mars, this kind of technology may become as essential as satellites are today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.